artistry, philosophy, and of course, mythology. These are just a few of the contributions of this once advanced civilization known as Ancient Greece. Ancient Greece Art Artistic production in Greece art began in the prehistoric, pre-Greek, Cycladic, and Minoan civilization, both of which were influenced by local tradition and the art of ancient Egypt. During the Bronze Age, around 3200 to 1100 BCE, a number of cultures flourished on the island of the Cycladic, in Crete and on the Great Mainland. They were mainly farmers, but trade across the sea, particularly in the raw materials such as obsidian, volcanic glass, and metals was growing. On mainland Greece and Athens in particular entered into a golden age in drama, philosophy, literature, art, and architecture. And also in this period was the time when the Greek philosophers so great Plato and Aristotle began to teaching. During this period, the creation and decoration of a Greek pottery, a significant Greek art form, dramatically changed. Include pictures of Greek mythology, everyday life, and 5th century comedians. The Greeks were also one of the greatest influencers of art. From its painting, the Alexander Mosaic, who was painted by Philosinus of Eretria, a famous painter known for having discovered new and rapid methods of coloring for his art. Sculptures of the deities were also prevalent at the time, one of which was a figure of Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, a famous sculpture made of marble from which it was found in Melos in 1820. The Lawakuan group was discovered in a Roman vineyard in 1506. The sculpture depicts of three figures frantically trying to free themselves from the grasps of sinuous serpents, them struggling to be free, a sight of both horror and beauty. Lastly, Praxipelis of Athens. He was one of the most influential sculptors on Greece. His sculptures represented the human body, notably, his male figures was known for their elegantly curved poses, relaxed appearance, and an overall impression of softness. His innovative approach had its strongest impact and his tendencies to humanize deities was by portraying them as playful adolescents. A notable part of the Greeks was their infrastructure. Temples towering up to 200 feet tall and 100 feet wide. The Parthenon, for instance, measured roughly about 228 feet long and 101 feet wide. The infrastructure is a former temple on the Athenian Acropolis and was dedicated to the goddess Athena whom the people of Athens considered their patron. Another eminent infrastructure of Greece was the ancient theater of Epidaurus. Located on the southeast end of the sanctuary, the structure was dedicated to the ancient Greek god of medicine, Asclepius. Because of its well-built design and aesthetics, it was considered the most ancient Greek theater. Greek literature was also prevalent. Authors such as Homer and Sappho were most famous for their work, like the Iliad and the Odyssey, and the Ode to Aphrodite by Sappho. The Greeks found very meticulous when it comes to drama. Writers such as Aeschylus, Sophocles, Aristophanes, Euripides, and Menander was greatly recognized for the different genres of work. The ancient Greece took their entertainment very seriously and used drama as a way of investigating the world they live in and what it meant to be human. Influenced by their culture, Greek art made an exceptional contribution that lasted for a millennia. Their people, driven by their passion for erudite creativity, made a great impression for them and may as well be dubbed as the legendary civilization of ancient Greece.